What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and we're doing Yusuke Fujiwara. First up, this guy's name is Yusuke Fujiwara. There is no English version as this part of the series was never dubbed. His age, I'd put him around 17 to 18 years old as he was in the same year as both Atticus and Zane Truesdale. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 157, The Approaching Threat, A Mysterious Visitor. Here are his wins. Here are his losses, and here's his dual score. Now, some of you out there might not even know who this character is. If that's the case, then you probably watched the dub, which ended after the whole Yubel and Jaden merging bit during season 3. Well, then, surprise, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX has a fourth season, which revolves around the final antagonist of the series, Night Shroud, or in the Japanese, Darkness. Fujiwara is a victim to Night Shroud's influences. We first see him during Season 4 as a new Obelisk Blue student. However, this was not the real version. It was in fact Fujiwara's dual spirit, Honest, disguised as him. The real Fujiwara actually disappeared long ago. Back in those early years, Fujiwara was a troubled person. He felt a very sad inward conflict at having bonds with friends due to the sudden deaths of his parents at a young age. He was paranoid that his friends would eventually forget all about him, just like how he felt his parents had done the same to him. Under the influence of Night Shroud, he became more calm and collected, and enjoyed taunting his opponents on their beliefs in the bonds and hope they use and create, believing that is what makes them weak. He continuously held on to the belief that forgetting bonds and hope will remove people's suffering. After being purged of Night Shroud, Fujiwara changed his belief on friends and bonds, and instead believe that as long as he believes in himself and his cards, he will never feel bond-related pains ever again. Bit of backstory on the character. When Yusuke was just a young boy, his parents died suddenly, causing his spirit partner, Honest to appear. Honest promised that he would protect him forever. Later in his life, he enrolled at Duel Academy and became close friends with Atticus Rhodes and Zane Truesdale. Atticus noted that Yusuke was an expert duelist and even believed that he was far more talented as a student than even himself or Zane. They lived together in the currently unabandoned abandoned dormitory. As time passed, Fujiwara started becoming paranoid, believing that eventually his friends would forget all about him. This led him to become obsessed with forgetting about his friends and the bonds that they shared. This was so that the people he bonded with wouldn't be able to forget him first. His goal led him to study about rituals. He used the dark rituals in an attempt to give himself its power and the ability to forget those he loved. As his studies began to become darker, he put his spirit monster Honest away to protect him. Yusuke learned about Night Shroud, a powerful entity who may possess the power that he requires. Atticus was witness to this final portion of the ritual. Yusuke left him the mask card as he no longer needed it himself, and Fujiwara ended up in the world of darkness, as well as allowing Night Shroud to escape. While under Night Shroud's control, Fujiwara plays a clear deck that revolves around the field spell Clear World, which allows him to cripple his opponent's monsters based on their attributes, while his own monsters are immune to its effects, since they have no attribute while on the field. This deck itself is a reflection of Night Shroud's beliefs that individuality brings suffering, while nihilism relieves it. Honest was shown to be in his deck before Night Shroud. All of the monsters included in his deck are Clear Cube, Clear Phantom, Clear Rage Golem, Clear Vice Dragon, Clear Vicious Knight. His spell cards consist of Attribute Bomb, Attribute Mastery, Clear Sacrifice, Clear Wall, Clear World, and the traps Attribute Chameleon, Attribute Gravity, Memory Snatcher, and Nihilistic Summoning Technique. And with that, guys, that's a little introduction to Yusuke Fujiwara. Let me know what you thought of in the comment section below. Did you watch Season 4 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? If you did, what did you think of it? Other than that, though, guys, don't forget to leave the video a like, and thanks a lot for watching.